Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today, I thought I would go over another kind of opinion piece type video because I haven't done one of those in a hot minute. And today, I thought I would go over the current problems with Wizard 101, specifically the problems surrounding the game and the game features that I think very much need fixing. Now, what kind of sparked this is I was thinking about the fact, right, that a lot of players, especially a lot of longtime players, have a phase where they kind of quit the game for a while and then they come back and basically they have periods of burnout and i think that that's a problem because when you have a game as large as wizard 101 you should in my opinion almost never be having burnout so i kind of was going into it like why do we have these burnout phases and how do we prevent it because i don't think I don't personally know any other game that has as long of periods as this where we're still loyal to the game but we quit for like two months and then come back and we just rinse and repeat that cycle so i divided it into four different sections so i'm going to go over each of them and then how i think we could fix them so the first and for me one of the biggest is the fact that i think the current combat system is stale i think there's a few issues with it First off, I think the classic pick card hit until they die system is just a little bit stale. Like, I know that I've said, you know, I've made videos on what's the proper deck setup and I've made a proper deck setup, but I personally don't think that there should be as static of a proper deck setup as this. Like, I've had the same deck setup for the last 50, 60 levels, and that shouldn't be the case in my opinion. I should be needing to change it more and adjust it more. I think the combat needs to be much more dynamic, and I think the start of this is improving the AI of the enemies, but I'll go get into that more later. I think the second issue that I think is prevalent is that the post-game content is incredibly stale once you get to level 150 what do you really have to do you have a side quest that give you really no benefit you have training a pet which sure you can train a pet but training a pet isn't exactly a fun process i don't think many people would consider it a fun process obviously you can do it but then once you get the pet what then are you just going to train another pet just for fun you can obviously train a few pets if you want to but like what's the reason for that i think that really that's not considered a fun post-game content and then you have pvp which a lot of people don't like pvp even people who play pvp don't like pvp I think that's a problem. If your PvP system, which is supposed to be one of the main attractions of post-game content, is something that even the people who do it find boring and repetitive sometimes and the metas are broken that's a problem like i know from what little i've watched there's people that use jading and then jading just makes the match incredibly boring and lasts forever it's like there's a problem in my opinion in your system when even the post-game content that pve players won't like like me the pvp players won't actually think is perfect either i think that that's a problem and i think that that's something that they should focus on changing and focus on fixing or the third point i think that they need more side systems i think specifically that we have something like spellaments which obviously is a horrid side system in my opinion that really needs to be fixed with how it's worked on and how spellments are dropped which hopefully they will do at some point i think that that's it's a good idea and concept just poorly executed you have gardening as a side system but gardening as a side system isn't really used beyond getting mega snacks and you don't really need to do anything beyond check up on your garden once a day like i just harvested a bunch of evil magma peas for myself with only showing up to garden them three times literally three times and then they were fine there's crafting and i think crafting is severely underused like we should be crafting things a lot more in my opinion i just think that it's not really used and then fishing i don't think almost no one does fishing i can say that with 100 percent certainty some people might do fishing and you might think fishing is the shit but like people don't do fishing like i can say that with a straight face like 
I don't do fishing. You can see I'm rank five. I literally did like the first two or three fishing quests and then I haven't touched the system since. And then finally, we can obviously talk about Monstrology, but what's there to talk about? Monstrology is probably the worst designed of the systems. It doesn't have any reason to do it besides potentially filling up your Wizard 101 Pokedex. I don't know why you would do it though. Like there's really no point. And I think that they need to really expand upon the side systems whether it be add more or make them more in depth it's necessary and then finally and this is a kind of a big point for me is they need a faster world pace and i don't necessarily mean creating worlds entirely creating worlds fast is important yes i think it would be really cool if they started making it so that end of year they release a full world that's fully in depth and then half year they release maybe not a full world but a full quest line in an area of a world or something like that something new to keep the game fresh but they need to do that they need to up the pace of what content they're releasing because at the current state and currently how i'm doing right is there is a year in between each major release and everything in between that is extremely minor to the point where it's not worth touching and as someone who has a lot of 150s what's the point right it's like there's no point so i think that that needs to be fixed and then the final thing i wanted to bring up and this obviously isn't like a super huge thing as of right now but something that i would recommend in the future is i think that they need to keep their worlds around the length that they've been doing because i think that longer worlds are incredibly stale I think that just Azteca Chrysalis as a whole, both are way too long and they needed to be, they need to be cut down. And then there's the fact that, you know, Imperia is too long as well. I think that they found a almost perfect length with Polaris, Mirage, Caramel, Lemuria. I think all of them being around eight hours is the perfect length for what a world should be. I think too much longer and it gets a bit dull and too much shorter and it's too fast. So that's what I would recommend for that. So now that I've gone over each one, let me actually talk about a few things I think we can do to fix it. Starting with combat being stale, I think that we need a complete overhaul personally of enemies. I think they need to have much better AI, much more difficult AI, and much more unique and combative kind of upgrades to them. I feel like right now the enemies have grown extremely stale and while Lemuria, I think, was a definite increase in interest for me, I think that they need to go one step further and legitimately try to overhaul the AI so that the AI is legitimately significantly better. I think that that would make PvE content significantly, significantly more interesting. I definitely think that they should step away from the two deck system where for mob fights you can just have an attack deck. And then for boss fights, you can just have this single boss deck that I've had for 50 levels. And they did definitely try to do that with some side quests in Lemuria, but I think they should incorporate it into the main quest. Like they had the Snow Queen, which I still haven't figured out how to beat. They had the Writer, which I think is a bit too random, but you did have like the, the what's the guy? He's green. I don't remember. The Tree Man, that guy was a genuine interesting challenge. I think they're there should be more bosses that are a genuine and interesting challenge. On a flip note, what I don't think is an interesting challenge is someone like Morg the Merciless. His cheats, in my opinion, I didn't find to be compelling at all, and I just kind of found them a bit boring and a bit meh. Now, the final fight of Lemuria, again on the flip side, I think was a really, really good thing. So I hope that King's Isle keeps going in that direction, but the biggest thing for me isn't cheats, it isn't complicated mob battles, boss battles, it is just improving the AI to the point where I think it's compelling and interesting. As for post-game content, I think that there's many things they could do here, whether it be they make legitimate interesting new things you can do with crafting gardening whatever or in my opinion the best thing to do would be to improve say collecting badges or collecting monstrology to the point where it's actually worth doing i think that i i highly doubt many people have farmed for badges you can see by my badges i farmed for a lot of badges but that's just because i'm weird right it's because i like collecting badges most people probably haven't even thought about farming for a badge right and i think that there could be a reward for it i don't know exactly what i don't know i don't think necessarily crowns should be the option i know that a lot of people might but i personally don't think kings would do that i think maybe like some different unique stitches if you complete a like a full world like for example 
and this is big for me, is if you know the new vendors in Lemuria and Caramel where you can actually buy the Stitch gear for gold once you complete the full badge, I think more stuff like that would be really cool. Like vendors that are locked behind badges, so you actually have a reason to collect that badge. As for Monstrology, definitely like gold, like maybe not gold rewards because honestly that's another thing i think is bad about this game right now is the state of gold but i i digress in that regard they need to make monstrology have interesting and compelling rewards because as of right now there is literally literally zero reason to do it so that is a problem most definitely as for needing more side systems i don't think necessarily they need more i think more would definitely do the game good but i do think that just improving on the current ones and improving on the things that you can do definitely is good. Back to post-game content is low. There's one more thing I'd like to add. They definitely need to add more final things to do, like more dungeons that are worth it, more quests to certain worlds that are compelling and interesting, and make there be a reason maybe to do side quests, right? Because in my opinion, side quests are almost entirely pointless for especially once you're high level because the xp isn't worth it and really you're getting nothing out of it but the story and a lot of side quest stories are bland in my opinion especially earlier worlds so that is definitely a necessity and finally the faster world pace i think that they should definitely put to use new hiring opportunities if they even hire just slightly more people if for some reason they decide that they aren't going to hire a lot of people and they only hire a slight amount of people put those people to good use please like at least do something with a faster world pace whether it be like personally my favorite idea would be something like pirate 101 where in pirate 101 you go back to skull island and port regal quite often you know you go back to different areas of skull island you go to different areas of monkeysta i think it would be really cool if they added new quest lines where you go back to earlier worlds that you've already finished i think that would be really cool and really interesting to revisit so that's really it for today let me know what you think what do you think this game needs right now because i am very interested to see your ideas i think right now the biggest thing for me is the fact that i think that post game content is low and combat is stale there's a reason why i don't want to play this game that often besides like the little short bursts i get and it's because i genuinely think a lot of the combat is boring and i think it needs that so let me know what you think but that's otherwise it for today thank you all for watching i will see you in the next video adios